Let me show you how to solve this type of math Olympiad question step by step, all right? Now, first, bring out one of the terms in the brackets. Now, let's choose the first one, 2 plus root 3, okay? So, 2 plus root 3, all right, is equal to what? 2 plus root 3. Let's multiply it by what? It's conjugate. Now, the conjugate of 2 plus root, uh, root 3 is 2 minus root 3. So let's multiply it by 2 minus root 3 divided by 2 minus root 3. The essence is to introduce difference of two squares, thereby simplifying the question. Okay, now we have that 2 plus root 3 is equal to 2 plus root 3 multiplied by 2 minus root 3 divided by 2 minus root 3 okay now um we have difference of two squares here yes because according to this identity a squared minus b squared is equal to a minus b multiplied by a plus b okay all right now that means this is already in this form let's put it in this form and in this case our a is equal to 2 and our b is equal to root 3. So we now have that 2 plus root 3 is equal to, so it's going, it's going to be a squared minus b squared, that is 2 squared minus root 3 squared. All right, divided by, that is for the numerator, divided by 2 minus root 3. All right, so this is what we have now 2 plus root 3 is equal to 2 squared we give us 4 minus root 3 squared we give us 3 divided by what 2 minus root 3 okay so we have that 2 plus root 3 is equal to 4 minus 3 we give us 1 divided by 2 minus root 3 Therefore, we can say that 2 plus root 3 is equal to 2 minus root 3 raised to the power of minus 1. Yes, since according to the law of indices, 1 over x is equal to x to the power of minus 1. All right. Now, let's call this. This is a very important equation. Let's call it equation 1. Now, let's substitute this equation 1 into the main equation. That means we are going to substitute 2 plus root 3. We are going to substitute 2 minus root 3 to the power of minus 1 as 2 plus root 3. And if we do that, we are going to have 2 minus root 3. Now, this minus 1 times x will give us minus x, right? Okay. Minus... Um, we have 2 minus root 3x to the power of x is equal to 4. There is a mistake somewhere. This is positive, this is plus, and not minus, okay? So let's continue. Now, this is what? 1 over 2 minus root 3 to the power of x, okay? Plus 2 minus root 3 to the power of x over 1 is equal to 4. Now, let's solve this. The LCM of this and this is what? 2 minus root 3 to the power of x. Okay? Now, when this divides this, you have 1. 1 times 1 will still give us 1. Plus, when 1 divides this, you still have 2 minus root 3 to the power of x. So, when you multiply it by 2 minus root 3 to the power of x, it becomes what? 2 minus root 3 to the power of what? x all squared is equal to 4 okay so let's cross multiply when we do that we have 4 times this that is 4 brackets 2 minus root 3 to the power of x is equal to 1 plus because this is 4 over 1 1 plus everything in the numerator 1 plus what 2 minus root 3 now this is x times 2 we give us 2x okay let's just uh, do that straight raise the power of 2x so let's bring everything to one side and equate this to zero okay now we have 
2 minus root 3 raised to the power of 2x. Okay? Now, minus, if this plus 4 multiplied by this crosses this equation, becomes minus 4, bracket 2 minus root 3 to the power of x. Then, if this is already plus 1, is equal to 0. We can express this as what? 2 minus root 3 raised to the power of what? x all squared. That is for this minus 4 brackets what? 2 minus root 3 raised to the power of x plus 1 is equal to 0. Now we have 2 minus root 3 and 2 minus root 3 to the power of x in common here. So we can actually assign something for it, okay? So we can say, let 2 minus root 3 to the power of x be equal to y, all right? If we do that, that means this equation becomes y squared minus 4y plus 1 is equal to 0. So let's solve this using the quadratic equation formula. So our y will be minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Now our a is equal to 1, our b is equal to minus 4, and our c is our constant which is what? 1. Now if we, uh, if we substitute it into this equation, we are going to have that y is equal to minus b there's already minus in our b so minus minus becomes plus so we are going to have four here plus or minus square root of b squared that is four squared will give us what 16 minus four squared will give us 16 now minus four times a that is four times one which is four times c which is another four so it's going to be minus four okay divided by 2 times a, that is 2 times 1, which will give us 2. Okay, let's clean this side of the board. So this is what we have here. We have that our y is equal to 4 plus or minus square root of now, 16 minus 4 will give us what? 16 minus 4 will give us 12. So it's going to be square root of 12, everything divided by 2. All right. So this is equal to 4 plus or minus root 12 is same thing as root 4 times root 3, right? So it's going to be root 4 times root 3 divided by 2. Now we have that our y is equal to 4 plus or minus. Now, square root of 4 is 2 times what? Root 3 divided by 2. Okay? Now, we can factorize 2 out from here. So, this is equal to 2 brackets 2 plus root 3. Alright? Divided by what? 2. Now, this 2, we cancel this 2. And we are left with y is equal to 2 plus what? Root 3. Alright? Sorry, plus or minus, plus or minus. Now, we have two values of our y, which are what? The first value is that y is equal to 2 plus what? Root 3. Let's take the plus sign. Now, if we should solve this, and also that your y is equal to 2 minus what? Root 3. Now, to solve this, recall that our y is what? Recall where we say let our y equals this. Our y is equal to 2 minus root 3 to the power of x, okay? So we have y is what? 2 minus root 3 to the power of x is equal to what? 2 plus what? Root 3. So to put them in the same base, recall where we solved. Just check through the video. We see where we, we solved and got that 2 plus root 3 the first time we did we got 2 plus root 3 and substituted it here. We solved and got that 2 plus root 3 is equal to 2 minus root 3 raised to the power of minus 1. Okay? So that is what we got and we substituted it into this place. I'm sorry I've cleaned it already. So we are going to do what? Substitute this for this here so that we have the same base here. Now, if we do that, we have that 2 minus... 
So we are going to have 2 minus root 3 to the power of x is equal to 2 plus root 3. This is what we have here. Now let's substitute this for this, okay? So we have 2 minus root 3 to the power of x is equal to... So instead of me to write this, I will replace it with this since they are equal. 2 minus root 3 to the power of minus 1. Now we have the same base. That means the powers are equal, right? So we have that our x is equal to minus 1. That is it for the first one, for the first value of x. Our advice is stay till the end because we are going to prove what our solution. Now the second one is that your y is equal to 2 minus root 3, right? So we have that y is equal to 2 minus root 3. So recall that our y is what? 2 minus root 3 to the power of x. So we are going to write that 2 minus root 3 to the power of x is equal to 2 minus root 3, which is same thing as 2 minus root 3 to the power of 1. Now, if, we, if the bases are equal, that means the powers are equal as well. That means we also have that our x is equal to 1. Now, let's prove our solution. Let's be sure that what we solved is right okay so this is the main question the question says that two permit me to claim more of this so that we have enough space okay so we have that two plus root three to the power of x plus two minus root three to the power of x is equal to four now let's substitute our x to be equal to one okay after that you can still substitute your x equal to minus so you are going to get the same thing so we have two plus root three raised to the power of one plus two minus root three raised to the power of one is equal to four now we have two plus root three my um, plus two minus root three is equal to four now plus root three minus root three will give us zero and we have that two plus two is four is equal to four so the left hand side of the equation is equal to the right hand side of the equation and that means that the solution is right thank you for watching have a lovely day bye